Hey, good morning. It's, um, oh, it's seven o'clock already. I've, I've been up for an hour and a half, but it doesn't even feel like it. I am um, today. I slept all night. I had to take a trazodone, though. Um, I haven't taken a trazodone since I was prescribed them the first two nights. Um, and it did knock me out. In fact, I woke up at, uh, like 1.45 to use the bathroom and immediately went back to sleep. I could feel the effects. Even after all that time, because I went to bed really early last night. I just, I just wanted to get more sleep. I have a feeling that the fact that I've been sleeping well is part, is a small part of why I'm not feeling too badly. So I want to keep that up. And if that means I'll end up sleeping a little bit longer than normal and getting a little bit less done. It's, I'm very emotionally numb today. Very just sort of moving through the day, getting things done. Um, I'm working. Um, and that's fine. It's something to do. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, uh, I find, for me, usually after a big, uh, When something bad happens, usually I spend, you know, the day, uh, a day or two after just being numb, just going through life and getting sh stuff done, because what else can I do, right? I mean, I can call in sick and stay in bed and sleep all day, I suppose. But what about tomorrow? Tomorrow's actually interesting. Um, I am, I'm on work tomorrow, but after work, my, my roommate's best friend, uh, She's being really kind to me. Uh, she she booked a private uh, women's healing session. I think it's like Reiki. I'm not. I'm a skeptic about a lot of things, and it wasn't for me. It, it wasn't. She didn't book it for me. She booked it for herself and her her friends and stuff. She just invited me. Is 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 more accurate. It's not about me. Uh, but she didn't have to invite me. You know, she didn't have to do anything. Uh, so I'm going to go to it. Um, and I'm going to go to it for a couple of reasons. One, it's something social. And I, I do need to make an effort to be more social. Uh, ever since the pandemic started, I pretty much just live in these four walls, which I'm actually fine with. I, I, I make this comparison. I don't know if any of you read comics, but there was a major comic in the late 80s called The Killing Joke. Um, it was a Batman comic, and it was actually a book that I read. I, di I didn't read it as the original comic, um, although I was reading comics then. If any of you know who Alan Moore is, he, he wrote it, and he's a, he's a big... He... he, he he makes comic books into literature. Anyway, so the premise of the story is Batman and the Joker are doing their thing, you know, taunting each other and stuff. And a major thing that happens in this book is that um, the Joker wants to hurt Batman, so he shoots Barbara Gordon, who is Commissioner Gordon's daughter, who is Batgirl. He shoots her, like, in the stomach area and she becomes a paraplegic and uh and this actually is one of the few times in comics where they don't immediately retcon and oh no bad girl's fine because she becomes uh, a hero called oracle and uh she oracle is like lucius fox was in the dark knight she's sitting at computers keeping an eye on everything and she's able to relay to her team birds of prey um, you know, where to go, what to do, where, you know, she, she tracks things, she's, she's their eye in the sky, basically, and I always say, I'm Oracle, that's my, uh, if I were a superhero, that's who I'd be, I'd be here at my computer, and I'd be looking stuff up, and checking traffic patterns, and seeing where the criminal, you know, I'd be that, you know, well, let me get into the, the feed for this, for this building, and so on, although you can't really do that in real life, <laughs> but, you know, 
these are comic books. And so, like, I am very happy being, you know, a real life version of Oracle. I'm fine being in these walls. I, but after something as big as learning, I do actually have cirrhosis. Although, to be honest with you, the word cirrhosis was said to me. I'm sorry, excuse me, I'm drinking my coffee. The word cirrhosis was said to me almost immediately upon getting my very first lab results. Like I said, my gastro doctor was right all along. She did say end stage cirrhosis, which she was not right about that. I am very compensated right now, thankfully, and I want to keep it this way. So, um, yeah. So the word cirrhosis has been in my life for a few months already, but finding out that it's real, finally, just like, you know, there's no way to deny it. It's probably a good idea for me to be among people. And, and, and this woman, I, th I thought it was extremely kind of her to invite me. Um, so, of course, I'm going to do it. You know, and I, I don't know anything about Reiki. Reiki? I just read the word. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm sure it's it's fine. I'm sure it's non-invasive. I think it's some kind of, not, not massage, really. Because uh, I don't think there's contact. I don't know. I'd have to look it up. I mean, it doesn't matter, but, you know, I don't have to expose my ignorance. And uh, also this weekend, I keep talking about it, but this time it's like starting um, Friday night. I'm really going to pick up my my learning again. Like, I'm going to, like, intensely study Python until I get it, until I have rules. I'm, gonna, I'm really going to work on learning Python, and then I'm going to work on learning SQL. And then I'm going to work on learning the one other programming language I need to learn for data engineering. And then I'm going to go back and get my certifications again. I'm going to get my Microsoft Azure certification so I can be a data engineer. And after that, I'm going to get my AI certification. Because um, that's that's where IT is going to go, and I want, to, I want to be in on the ground floor for that. Well, it won't be the ground floor by the time I get there, but, you know, maybe the first or second floor. Um, I feel like, okay, now we know I don't have to go back to doctors for a while. I can slip back into life and not be spending my weekends afraid of what tests and what results I'm going to get. And I have to keep working. I have to keep living. I can't just be sad and depressed and, 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 and feel sorry for myself. I'm not the only person who's sick in the world. I'm not the only person who didn't do anything to make herself sick. So I, I can't, I can't, I can't. It's not in my nature to just give up. So I'm not going to like make it, I'm not going to study like I did before where I would study for eight hours a day, you know, both days. Uh, you know, I, I, w I would like to do two hours a day though. Um, and I don't think that's unreasonable. I think I could pick up Python pretty quickly if I stick to it. Um, yeah, I mean, if this is my life, then I have to get back to living it. You know, and obviously my liver is going to take precedence. I'm going to need, I need to rest, I need to rest. But like, like Oracle, how much am I really working when I'm sitting at my computer just like watching a video about Python? So it'll be, it'll It'll be something to concentrate on. It'll be nice to see people tomorrow. Uh, yeah, tomorrow. It'll be nice to see my roommate's best friend and her family and friends. And it'll be nice to get back to work this weekend. Um, I hope the next time I make a video, I'm in a slightly better mood. But I don't think I'm that bad right now. Thank you so much, everybody, for your comments and messages. They really mean more than I can say. Um, it's, it's nice that there are so many sympathetic people out there, kind people, and I, I appreciate you more than I can say, so thank you, and also thank you for watching, and have a good rest of your day.